Well, there's uh, quite a bit of difference as far as your responsibilities are concerned uh, with the, as the strong side as opposed to the weak side. Now, the weak side, you can take a little slower drop, and you watch the play develop a little slower in front of you. But on the strong side, everything almost is a spontaneous factor, whereas everything is breaking right in front of you as to a point you've got to react in a matter of seconds, whereas on the weak side, you have a few moments to sort of set back and watch everything develop in front of you. You have greater responsibilities, too, on the strong uh, side. Yes, you do. It's uh, The strong side, uh, as opposed to the weak side, has uh, quicker responsibilities, too, because everything is so quick in front of you, it has to be almost a reaction type thing, whereas on the weak side, you have to set back and think about things. You can make a lot more mental mistakes on the strong side than you can on the weak side because everything is so fast and you have to go through it so fast. What are the responsibilities on the strong side? Uh, if you take a strong side linebacker, he has to line up head on the tight end, which is usually one of your bigger receivers in the league. He has to cover him through his hook zone and he has responsibilities of taking uh, the first half back out of the backfield. Plus, you have to always remember to play run to start with. And if you're, if you're dropping back to cover pass and there's a run going on, that's when Coach Cox decides to jump on you with both feet. So that's when we're in a lot of trouble.